Hello everyone, welcome to Ajay's Educational Hub. Yes, I'm now available online through my YouTube channel so that I can get connected to my students around the corner. Now to start with, I'll take up the topic of HTML. Now this particular tutorial is intended towards the new beginners and aspirants who want to learn about web designing. And for that, you need to first understand the basic format of HTML. What exactly HTML is? So how to do it? Let's directly go to the computer and start doing it. So here we are. Now the first thing I would like to inform you that to create a HTML page, we simply require a text editor, just like a notepad. So you can see I've already opened a notepad myself. So this is the notepad in front of you. Now let us understand what exactly HTML is. The full form of HTML is Hypertext Markup Language. Hypertext Markup Language. Now let us understand these terms first. So Hypertext. So I'll just highlight it. Hypertext is the text displayed on a web page through, through a hyperlink. I will repeat it. Hypertext is the text displayed on the web page through the hyperlink. Now, hypertext and hyperlink. So let's not get confused. A hyperlink is a link that will redirect you to some other web page when you click onto it. So let us understand it more clearly through an example. For example, this is a website. And you can see over here, these are the hyperlinks. Now, if I click on the hyperlink, I'll be redirected to some other, to that particular topic, you can say. And the text, that like, the, there is a text over here, like why Python is better than C++. So these are the text displayed through the hyperlink. So that's hypertext. So now we'll get back. So hypertext is a text displayed on a web page. And when the user will click onto it, will be redirected to that particular topic or that particular some other web page. Now comes the markup language. Markup language now is a kind of a small subset of a programming language. Now many people get confused with, uh, you know, between a markup language and a programming language. Uh, markup language can be simply can be defined as a, a very small subset of a programming language because both languages kind of give instructions to the computer. Even a markup language gives instruction to computers in form of tags. There are predefined tags which we are will be about to uh, go through it. We are going to learn about it. So a markup language is a small subset you can say of a programming language. So let us understand what are the tags. Now I'll just delete it and uh, I'll simply type the lesser than sign and the greater than sign. Now these are like the brackets to, you know, to type a tag, to define a tag, you have to use this lesser than and greater than sign. You can call it as brackets for now. And now to simply type ht ml right so this is html now the first rule of html tags is that every tag has a opening and closing tag for example this tag this html tag we will call it as an opening tag similarly we will have a closing tag for example we how to define that Simply have to give a slash or front slash and then again type HTML. So please understand this is the opening tag and this is the closing tag. Now there are tags in HTML that ha has an opening tag. We also call it as an on tag but doesn't have a closing tag. But those tags we are going to learn in my upcoming tutorials. So at this point, you have to just understand the basic rule that every opening tag will have a closing tag. Because if you don't give a closing tag, then your web page won't display as 
what you have desired. So every opening tag will have a closing tag. Now this HTML tag is kind of an instruction to the computer that this particular document is a HTML document, simple as that. So all your code will come under these two tags, opening and closing tag of HTML. Now the next tag is the head tag. This is the opening tag and this is the closing tag. It is used to give title to a web page. Now what is the title? We are going to understand it. So for giving a title, again there is a tag called as the title tag. This is the opening tag and this is the closing tag. Now you can type anything over here like my web website or web page as if now I'll just give web page so please understand now see this is the opening tag and this is the closing tag the head tag I mean to say under the head tag comes the title tag this is the opening tag and this is the closing tag so the title tag comes under the head tag please be very careful about it you can make a mistake you can give a closing tag of the head tag and you know before the title tag so the page won't get displayed properly so this is the head tag opening and closing under that the title tag now the title you can just simply see the example over here like loveyourpython.com or whatever it is so this is the title of the page so whatever you have typed over here that my web page will be displayed like over here that's the title of the page so now next we'll move to the next after the head tag after the closing tag of the head then comes the main tag that that is the body tag slash body opening tag and the closing tag again again, I, again i'm repeating it so that it will be clear to you that you have to give the closing tag and the proper format has to be followed so this is the body tag now this is the main the content of the web page the body part that is this particular part that's the body tag so whatever you type under the body tag will be displayed over here on that is the content of the your page so for example if I will simply type my first tutorial something like this right so I've simply typed a a small message under the body tag now we will be saving this document I will simply go to file and I'll simply give save as um, straight I will I will just uh, save it on the desktop and give it as first tutorial or just first dot html now that's the extension you're supposed to use to save any html document you can give html or just htm both can work but i'll give it as a the, i have a habit of giving as html so first that's the name of the document and with the extension dot html so we'll save it here it is and we'll just try to locate my file over here this is the notepad file i have to just give a right click and open with Google Chrome and you can see this is the title that is my web page that I've typed under the title tag and this is the the text that I typed under the body tag that's the main content of the page now let's go to the code again you can just go through it I will just um, go through it again the main tag that is the HTML tag opening tag starts here and last is the closing tag of HTML that is with the front slash then comes the head tag opening and closing tag under the head tag comes the title tag so you have to follow this thing very carefully otherwise the web page again I repeat won't get displayed properly though you're not going to get a, any errors as such as you get it get it in any programming languages so then comes the body tag the opening and closing of the body tag and then the message that i have given so this is the basic format of an html so you have to follow it 
henceforth whatever tags we are going to learn that we are going to put it under the body tag so we will get the desired output we will be displaying uh, we are going to learn many more tags how to apply colors and many more tags we are going to learn so this is the tutorial for the basic format of the HTML so all your documents will have this format and simply we are going to just put the tags under the body tag so I hope you have understood this tutorial so as if now I am Ajay signing off stay strong stay healthy keep programming thank you